Iron Mike Bonner. Today I make my IWC debut. Now I've waited for the last year while the rest of my training class has been out there putting on a show for you all. But today, that chapter closes. Today, I step into that ring and I'm not going to let it slip. So tonight, the Bald Bombshell has a match against Cliff Klepto. <laughs> Everybody saw what happened at fight night when I stopped you idiots from serving those fattening subs to the rest of the marks in the crowd. <laughs> and tonight is the appetizer when I take you and stick you through the mat. And the main course, we all have to buy a ticket to see that August 14th, Court Time Sports Arena. <laughs> Tell them that. Hell yeah, see your asses then. Oh yeah. <laughs> I finally get my hands on VJ Hills tonight. Ricky, I am so sick and tired of those middle-aged mutant ninja sick turtle ripoffs. Sick of them. Miles Monroe, the Midwest buzzsaw. Tonight, you get to face the hooligan. And understand, I am the best in my class. There's no need to ask that question. It's me. I am the man of the match. And Miles Monroe, you're going to find that out tonight. Tonight at Proving Ground, I face the hooligan Julian J. You know, he likes to talk about how he's the best in his class. Great. Good for you, buddy. But there's more than just your class here tonight. And there's a lot of people watching. And they're going to be turning their heads watching me. I think I done kicking your head off. I'll see you. Tonight, I go one-on-one -on -one with A1 Anthony Young. At IWC fight night, I defeated Money Shot with my tag team. So I think it's only fitting that I defeat their young boy here tonight. Cole, are you excited? I know I am. That's the match everybody's been waiting to see. Cole Carter versus Anthony Young. Or should I even say A1 versus A2. You see, the first couple months of your career, everyone was comparing you to me. And I don't really think that's a fair comparison. Not for your sake, but for mine, because truth be told, I'm better than you. I always have been, I always will be. Just because you're traveling across the country, traveling across the world, getting interest from top promotions, top companies in the world, doesn't mean anything to me. Because there's always one thing you have to remember, and that you'll always be in my shadow. And that's just how it is. Hello again everyone and welcome to the Proving Ground series here at the Iron City Wrestling Academy. I am your host for this episode, Chris LaRue. So we are coming off of fight night and ladies and gentlemen, we have a new IWC Super Indie Champion. It is the one man militia, Matthew Justice in a match that needs to be seen to be believed. If you were not there at court time, you can check it out on Fight TV or the IWC Network. Now tonight we have some fantastic action heading towards Cage Fury in our main event tonight. We have two of the hottest rising stars in IWC. A1 Anthony Young will go one-on-one -on -one with the thoroughbred Cole Carter. Both men are undefeated at the Proving Ground Series. This should be a fantastic match. Also, we will see the debut of Iron Mike Bonner. We will see Brotherly Love and the Swole Patrol in singles action tonight. And we will see Miles Monroe go one-on-one -on -one with Julian J. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take it right to the action. Okay, and welcome to another episode of the Proving Ground series. We have right now a first, a debut. Iron Mike Bonner is making his IWC debut here at the Proving Ground series. And before I get too far into it, ladies and gentlemen, joining me on commentary, one half of the IWC Tag Team Champions, the man Dime Elijah Dean. Took you long enough, Chris. Hey, we got right to the action. I had to, I had to put over one of our, our uh, promising young talents here, Iron Mike Bonner. Interesting story about Iron Mike. He was actually in the same class as Cole Carter and the Greek god Alexander Apollo. However, circumstances forced him to take a sabbatical from IWC. He has waited over a year to make his debut. I can tell I've seen, he's definitely been in the ring before. I can tell just by the movement. Uh, he's really controlling the pace right now. Oh, and that's R.J. Booker is in the ring with him. Another student here at the Iron City Wrestling Academy. He goes to the eyes. I like it. I like it. Taking a shortcut. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, oh. in the midsection. Nice. 
May have also got him with a forearm there. He's down. Has to stay on him here. You know, Iron Mike obviously in phenomenal condition. He's, he's very well developed. He, he, again, he was been training with that same class as Cole Carter and uh, Alexander Apollo, but he did not get his opportunity to debut. So what has he spent? He has spent the last year just training and here in the gym trying to improve, trying to get his opportunity. Whoa, what a kick out there that was. There you go, RJ. Stay on him. Doesn't work the first time. Try a second time. RJ showing some good skills here as well. He's one of the newer students here at the Iron City. Oh, and a nice cross face. Nice. Pull it right into a rear chin lock, almost a, a stranglehold there. No, you control the head, it's hard to do anything else. A stiff kick there, right to the back. Now, Iron Mike might have his debut ruined here by, oh, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, big European uppercut. Caught him right on the butt of the jaw. Ooh, nice Kevin elbow Nash strike. like elbow. Hey, absolutely, I agree with that. You know, Mike looks rock. You know, when you go in there, your nerves are going, especially in your debut. I imagine his nerves have been got to go 100 miles an hour. And here comes Booker. Oh, oh goes for everything and gets nothing. Trying to go for a bear hug there, or a belly to belly. Look at him, he's squeezing the life out of him. Oh, right back to the head. Oh, oh belly big to belly, belly to belly suplex. Nice strong kick out. And now you see that fire from Iron Mike. You know, I've heard a lot about what this guy's gonna bring to the table. What's he got him with here? Oh, look at that forearm from the uh, dragon sleeper position. Side suplex, look at the bounce. Staying on him. Going again for that dragon sleeper. Oh! Almost. Inverted DDT. And that's it. And that's it. Impressive debut for Iron Mike Bonner. <laughs> Fantastic debut for the young man. I am very curious to see what his career holds. Now this, we saw a little preview of this uh, before fight night. Look at VJ, put together. I mean, you can't, look at those well-defined abdominal muscles. Oh, now this is a guy I'm a fan of. And Cliff, Respect my friend. The business. Oh, God. Oh, knee to the midsection. You know, I would have thought that these two would have learned their lesson. First of all, our first episode of the Proving Ground series, the Swole Patrol stomped Brotherly Love in short order. Then, before fight night, when Brotherly Love was selling their authentic Philly cheesesteaks, oh, nice elbow drop there by VJ Hales. They got into it with the Swole Patrol and were thoroughly stomped before the show even started. Which one's the dumb one? Is it is it Cliff or is it Ricky? Well, you know, I now hold on. I we're kind of splitting hairs there at that point, don't you think? Oh, oh DDT. DDT. That's got to be it. This looks like it's going to be in short order. Now look this at the might, biceps. I mean, yeah. Look, nobody can def deny the man's well put together, but he could have had a pin there. Uh, he's just playing with his food right now. That's all. Yeah, but you, want, you don't don't ever underestimate someone from Philly. I think I think we can underestimate him right now. Look at him getting the snot kicked out of him. Hey, you were in the ring with these guys, weren't you? They they, they put up a little bit of an effort. There was no fight. There was no effort. They, there was heart. Hey, heart can get you a lot here in this business. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, here we go. Roll through. Did not get the sunset flip. Oh, but stays right back on him. Stiff right hand there. Unbelievable. Now, you actually hit a choke slam on one of these guys, didn't you? That was maybe the first I, choke slam of your career. Yeah, the one in the ring right there. You went, wait, isn't he like four inches taller than you? That, oh, that doesn't matter. Look at the power of me. I have the power. Oh, oh, look at that splash. Stinger splash. Oh, not smart, oh. see? Christ. He might have hit his head off the buckle there. There goes a couple more brain cells. 
Oh, at least their cheesesteaks are good. Are they? Oh, look at this. Oh, he thought. I tell you what, Cliff is showing a lot more fight, though, than we've seen out of Brotherly Love thus There's far. that neck breaker. There's that. Look at him. He's fighting out of oh, it. He's rest. fighting out of it. I can't believe it. Wait a minute. Yeah, get on him, Vic. Get on him, Vic. Are you kidding get me? A, Ring get, the bell. Get that goof Ricky out of the ring. And now they're stomping Ricky. Yeah, nobody stopped this. Nobody stopped this at all. I'm enjoying this. And Vic's gonna, whoa! Vic hit the floor really hard. What? And Brotherly Love has just cleared the ring of the Swole Patrol. Hey, a blind squirrel finds a nut from time to time. I am stunned, and I am looking forward to this tag team match. We will see this at Cage Fury. Running. Julian J is taking it to Miles Monroe. And ladies and gentlemen, I am being joined on commentary by none other than Tito Ulrich, the Bosnian bone breaker. Bravo. Uh, uh, bravo. But uh, back to the action in the ring. Julian J is taking it to Miles Monroe. Oh, my nature, I need to Unbelievable. I would completely agree right there. A lot of aggressiveness here by Julian J. Now, Julian, he's been on the, oh, right into a roll-up. Only a two count. Wubiga. Wubiga. Uh, what he said. Uh, but look at, oh, look at the aggressiveness. Julian is all over Miles Monroe. Both of these guys have been featured on the Proving Ground series. Unfortunately, uh, not with winning records thus far. And Miles seems very hurt early on. What are we going for here? Vertical suplex, perhaps. A couple shots to the midsection. And it seems like... Oh, Julian J is Daco. taking... Oh, that was a very long two count. Julian is tearing up. Miles Monroe. Now, Miles' uh, first match of the Proving Ground Series was against Spencer Slade. He actually took Spencer to the limit. And Julian is just beating him senseless. A second body slam. Bravo. Unbelievable. Wait a minute. Reversal by Miles. Oh, Julian right back on top of it. Oh, look at that power. Look at that. Oh, devastating sidewalk slam. And Miles may not know when to give up. He is taking incredible punishment. You like that, Tito? Oh, I need to do that. Uh... Uh, yes, uh, I, I, and Miles showing a little bit of fire. He's, he's angry. This is the most intense I have ever seen Miles Monroe. Oh, Dragon Whip Lake Screw. His knee, knee might be badly torn up. Big chop by Miles Monroe. And another one. Lights with the bridge! That was a long two count. Miles Monroe showing incredible heart, incredible fight here. This is more fight than I've ever seen out of Miles Monroe. Oh, 
He's tried for that flatliner, modified flatliner before. Julian Jay just too powerful, just too big. Oh, tosses him off. Unbelievable strength there by the hooligan. And Miles looks hurt. <clears throat> Oh, we've seen him do this before. Julian J loading up for the spear. Hide. Hide. Sends him in. Wait a minute. Beautiful reversal. Unbelievable. Oh, and a kick right to the head. That'll do it. And that is a huge win for Miles Monroe. What a buzzsaw kick. Unbelievable fight from this young man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen a new side of Miles Monroe. Lord only knows what the future holds for this young man. Kudas. And here we go, one of the biggest main events we have ever had at the Proving Ground Series. It is the thoroughbred Cole Carter against A1 Anthony Young, the man of a Young thousand Tony. nicknames. Young Tony. Young Tony, excuse I was getting to it. Look at the quickness of it. Oh, nice headlock side, headlock takeover. Like a cat. Both of these men are undefeated at the Proving Ground Series. Oh! All right, Tony. Cole answers with one of his own. Tony gets back to the leg scissors. You know, both these men have, you know, have stalemate. so much. Stalemate. Both these men have so much potential. Both these men are going to lead IWC for years to come. And you obviously probably know uh, young Tony better than just about anybody else on the roster. And, and, you know, we've seen him come out of the ring with you. We've seen him tag with you. What is it about young Tony that, that you see some potential? The agility. Look at him. Right Very there, there's a good example. Ooh. Like I was saying, the agility, he has so much potential in. He's going to show that here tonight. Nice leapfrog. Look at that. Drop down by Cole Carter. Leapfrog of his own. Nice hip toss. Shake it off, Tony. And a slam with authority. Beautiful drop kick. Roll right out, the Tony. Roll out. Take a break. And Cole Carter is not going to allow him to roll out. He's going to stay on top of him. Ten in the corner. There's like three fans here. What are you trying to do this for? Oh. Smart, Tony. Smart. See the instincts. Quick. Oh, and kicks the rope right up into Cole's face. Did he, did he just call him A2? Oh! And a cannonball with authority! Has to drag him in the middle of the ring there. Now Cole Carter obviously has the size and strength advantage, but you were right. A1 showing remarkable, and now showing a little bit of a mean streak. That's one thing we've worked on with him. And it seems to be paying off. This is this is more aggression, and this is more intensity than I've seen out of young Tony uh, since his debut. He has to stay on a kid like Cole. Well, what do you think about Cole Carter? You obviously oh, reverses. 
Oh, lines him in the corner. Shown some agility of his own. Knee to the midsection. Once Cole starts worrying about him and him only, sky's the limit. Lack of daisical cover. You might want to go over with that in the Come scouting on, Tony. session. Tony, you have to hook both legs with a talent like Cole Carter. A it stand is, on him. It is brutally hot here in the Iron City Wrestling Academy. It's got to be over 100 degrees. This is where it favors Tony. I'll agree with that. He has less body weight to cover. You know, Cole has them big muscles, but how long can he go? Oh, blistering knife edge chop. Oh, and a stiff European uppercut. Cole is down, and he is rocked. Still kicks out, though. Can't get frustrated, Tony. Yeah, compose See, yourself. Yeah, look, I mean, he's obviously learned a lot from you guys. I don't think it's going to be too long until we see young Tony with some gold around his waist to go along with your tag titles. That's what I'm thinking. Nice elbow strike. Shake it off, Tony. Get back on him. Cole's still rocked, though. You can see he, he hasn't shaken the cobwebs out either. Big boot to the face. Now both men appear rocked. It seems like he was going for a chop. He may have blocked the chop with a kick. Rather innovative. There we go. Stay on him. But young Tony stays right on top of him. Here comes Cole. Oh! And he might have hurt his hamstring doing that. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Put him in a bad position. Oh, and he's in a bad position now. He may have hit his head coming down. He's so tall. There we go. Look at this. Oh, this is, this is, this is a mistake. Oh, this nice. is a big mistake. A2. Oh! Oh! From underneath, from upside down. Don't take that, Tony. Get on him. Staying on him. One thing about Cole, I'll give him. He's not just going to get slapped in the mouth and take it. No, those were, I have never seen anyone get hit that hard from upside down. And look at this, A1 is trying to keep down Cole. He's got so, you know, he, uh, Cole has such a weight advantage. He's, it's hard to smother him from this position. He's really got to put some, get the better position. And he doesn't, because Cole's already back to his oh, feet. Man. There we go. Goes for the eyes. I showed him that one. I've seen you use that move. It's pretty good. Plenty of times. It works. Well, this might be his knee strike, that V-trigger knee strike. Oh, no. Oh, oh my no. goodness! All right. I think, he, I think he learned that off. from you as well. He might have. Oh, wait a minute. His foot's on the rope. Instincts. Instincts that, by Tony. The that cat. is wisdom beyond his years. Unbelievable match we're seeing here. On the proving grounds, big clothesline. And another one. What a power slam! Kick out, Tony. Oh, I am shocked that he kicked out of that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two blue chip prospects, two future champions here at IWC, and they are putting it all on the line here at the Iron City Wrestling Academy. Both of these men, students of the Iron City Wrestling Academy, this is what you can get from the talent that is straight here. He goes for the cutter, blocked by A1. Ducks the line. There we go. Oh, cutter! That's it. And a near fall! These men are laying it all on the line. What a match. Can't argue, Tony. Got to stay on him. He's teeing him up, maybe for that knee strike. He's put people away with that He's knee strike. He's ready to finish it. Oh, no. Up, the, maybe the, this might be almost heaven. No. Nope. Nice counter. And a kick out. Oh, what a super kick. That's it. He's out. He's out of it. You've won a couple matches like this. Huge win! Huge win by... Excuse me, Tony? 
What? Oh, no. Hey. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Dime, are you kidding me? But we didn't teach him this. Are you kidding me, Dime? How in the world? Oh, we're going to have to talk about this later. He had the match won. Oh, no. Now he's trying to get style points. Oh, oh and a knee strike of his own. Me. That might have cost him the victory. Yeah. Almost heaven. Yeah. Count to a thousand. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. I'm unbelievable. Unbelievable matchup. Two of the best in IWC today. Lay it all on the line for you fans at home. Dime, talk to us about it. I, I'm going to be talking to Tony here very shortly. These are two of the best in the company. These are two of the best in the game today. Folks, thank you for tuning in to the Proving Ground series, and we will see you next time.